Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974, back at ya. Another tutorial on a mission controller contract. Been having a few requests on how the new repair mission works in uh, version 1.09 of mission controller. Things have changed a lot and I promised I would make a video on how it works. It works very similar to the old video of the old mission controller but a few things have changed. So. One of the first things you have to actually do is have a repair contract. Now I already have one active, but usually it's in your available tab in your mission controller building. And you just select it, you go to it, and there it is. Uh, so let's go over what we have to do. If you look at the actual description, it sh tells you what you have to do to actually uh, do a repair mission so you can go over that and whatever you need but one of the things that have changed in the new version of mission controller 2 is that you no longer have repair parts we now use the community resource packs spare parts as our repair parts so that way you know you have a little bit of a leeway with if you install other things like OKS and uh, MKS and stuff like that and you know it gives you that it just gives you a little bit more uh, a little more leeway of what you want to use instead of just having re repair parts that only work for mission controller well now you have spare parts that work for a lot of other mods that you might have installed so that's one of the big changes right now the other big change in, change in uh, the new mission controller 2 is that everything is now done from outside of the ship so in EVA you're going to conduct all the repairs you're going to do all the work on the repair panel and we'll show you as we get into that a little bit later so mission is accepted so one of the things I want you guys to know is that you no longer need to dock with the vessel for it to actually work but if we look at my list here it told us that we had an advanced satellite 2 as the target repair as we can see here it says repair vessel advanced satellite 2 what mission controller does is it when it finds the vessel with a repair panel on it and usually you put the repair panel on all your satellites um, when you launch them. It's a requirement for most mission controller satellite type missions that you have the repair panel on it. But anyway, so what mission controller will do is that it will actually add in quotations here the repair. That way you can find what vessel it is that you actually want to repair. So if, you, if you're like me, you're doing a lot of missions and you're doing a lot of satellite missions you use it to you know fund your other creative activities in Kerbal Space Program there's times when you are launching tons and tons of satellites and you forget to rename them or whatnot and sometimes they have the same name and sometimes it's hard to find out which satellite Mission Controller wants you to repair so what Mission Controller will do it will add the repair uh, little quotation thing at the end of the name of the satellite and you'll at least know where to go so in this case I have this satellite that is on a uh, eccentric orbit that I have to intercept so that makes it a little bit more difficult to get it but we'll set that up the other thing you obviously need to do is actually set up a vessel to intercept this uh, satellite so what I have is my mark one repair vessel it's what I've been using for a long time in the game to do repair missions and I'll show you how what what is on it now I have a lot of mods installed in here like current uh, construction time and stuff like that so things work a little bit different for me than you but uh, one of the first things you're going to want to do is you want to build your ship however you want to build it of course you want to build it you want to build it cheap not cheap cheap like cheap and cheap but I mean cheap for you know you can afford to actually go out and uh, repair the mission usually I use a one-man pod for this and the most important thing you are going to need on your ship is the repair parts or the spare parts. Now the spare parts are located in your propulsion tab. Usually, usually it's the first one. I don't know why it usually is, but it matters what mods you have installed. But it's called the repair can small. Now each repair can actually contains one spare part. It's the only thing in the game if you only have mission controller it's the only thing that actually has the spare part in it if you have other mods like uh, OKS or MKS they also have spare parts but you know they're kind of big and expensive to launch so this is pretty good so one way you can add uh, 
the spare parts is to uh, use some symmetry here to uh, actually have two for your uh, your your vessel is balanced. And now I'll have two spare parts, and I can launch to the vessel the to the satellite I want, and I can launch. But in this case, I actually have Kerbal uh, uh, Kerbal attachment system installed, and in my little universal storage tank where is it it's this one right here I have a universal storage uh, Kerbal attachment system container and if I edit that container and I look inside it you'll see that I have rec uh, repair can small as I have two of them inside there uh, they both have a size of 10 so I can in this case like uh, like the regular like I would have showed you a normal way they contain two each so that's how I'm going to do it for this mission. I'm going to use uh, cast to bring my stuff up there. If you don't have Kerbal attachment system, then you can just uh, attach the repair can directly to your vessel, uh, and you'll be all set to go. So let's get this thing going again. And I have to fix my staging here, and we'll save it. So I will. I have a little ex a few extra things that do not apply to you guys because this is my main game. I will get this on the launch pad and I'll be right back. So, here we go. All right, guys. So I am on the launch pad right now, and you can tell I'm going to launch from here. My satellite that I want to intercept is right here, as you can tell in uh, the satellite tracking window. I can see him. Uh, my launch window is going to be a little bit weird, so I'm a, I'm not going to show you how to intercept. You guys are going to have to uh, do that yourself. But you have to intercept this guy, match his orbit, and all that stuff. If you notice up here. My land, your vessel on Kerbin has already uh, been green checkmarked. This is a bug that I've been trying to squash for a while. Unfortunately, what seems to be happening is that once you go into time compression uh, with your vessel still landing in pre-launch condition, uh, it seems that uh, all the checks for Kerbal Space Program no longer work. Like, it's no longer in pre launch once you come out of. I don't know if that's a bug in uh, Kerbal Space Program or a bug in my own, uh, my own, of my own doing. But right now it is an issue. It's not a huge issue because none of the other, uh, none of the other uh, goals are going to happen until I actually get to the vessel. So, yeah, I'll keep trying to work. I thought I fixed it, but I, I just proved to myself that I didn't. So, actually, I'm going to get this launched right now. Guy to get this moving. And I will intercept that satellite, and I'll be right back. For we don't have to make this video too long. All right, guys. Now that I'm on my way to actually intercept him... I actually got a pretty good interception right on launch. Um, 
One thing I want you guys to notice is that, if you notice, to repair a vessel you must have at least one spare part. And you notice that's not green check marked. That is because I have my uh, spare parts in a cast container and Mission Controller, because of how cast works, cannot actually see that I actually have uh, those parts. So what's going to happen is once I take uh, the, the, the spare parts out of the container, then it will check mark to green. If I had the uh, repair cans on my vessel, then that would be green right now. But since I'm using CAS, I'm doing it a little different than um, normally I would usually do it. Uh, it. That's just the way it is. So I'm just going to intercept this guy real quick. Get some fast forwarding going. Again, if you guys don't know how to do interception, there's plenty of tutorials on out there, including I have an older one from a long time ago. It's all still valid. It all still works the same way it always has worked. Uh, so we'll wait till we get to that check mark. And then I will. So something we got to remember is that we do not have to dock with this guy anymore. So that is not an issue anymore. That's another one of the changes in. Uh, the new version of Mission Controller 2. In the older versions, you had to dock with the vessel. That is no longer the case. So I am not going to conduct a docking operation. I'm just going to get real close to them. And then I will uh, go from there, I guess you can say. Actually do some EVAs, get the repair, spare parts out, and do it. Uh, other than uh, the interception, uh, doing repair missions is absolutely simple simple. The hardest part is actually getting to the satellite and it matters what kind of uh, orbit your satellite's in, if it's in polar orbit, you know, it's all different. It's all different ways to actually intercept uh, the vessel. So, I mean, that's something you got. That's that's the challenge of repair missions. That's why I like them so much. And that's why I have so many different satellite type missions where they you have different kinds of uh, launch parameters, I guess you can call it kind of don't want to hit this guy too fast so let's not uh let's not get to him too quick slow us down to about 10 meters a second you actually can see the satellite coming up on us now get some of that do a quick save just in case I want to do some fast forwarding here he's still over there I'm gonna I'm gonna push him a little bit closer Now we're getting a little bit closer and closer and closer and we're getting a little bit way too close now right about on top of them there we go I'm gonna go under him a little bit don't want to hit his thing there we go there, so there's the satellite, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start my EVA and conduct the operation. The repair panel is located, where did I put it on this one? Ah, it's right there. So, at least I know where it is. Let's go to EVA, and I have to get to my cast container, which is right there. I should be able to open it. Uh, my repair can small, I'll take it, close it up. As you can see, to repair a vessel, you must have at least one spare part. And there it is. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to attach it to my vessel, like that. Now, another thing that has changed in Mission Controller is you can actually grab resources while in EVA. And I used uh, a CIT mod called uh, Kurt which is basically uh, EVA type thing. So what happens, how you get this part to work, I wish you would stop moving, is you right click on it just like you would any other type of thing and you'll see a little window said open transfer GUI. So you just open that up and you'll see that I can actually transfer parts. So I'm going to transfer them out, actually no, in, sorry. And there's no more, there's no longer any parts in there. And if we look at my Kerbal, we will see that I actually have one spare part. So now I'm going to put the lights on his head here, do some uh, 
EVA to the actual satellite. Try to be careful not to break anything on it. Looks like uh, the second stage I never got rid of on this one. Uh, sometimes I over-engineer my uh, satellites. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a problem sometimes. It's something we do a lot. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the door. So I'm at the repair panel now. I'm going to open the door. The door opens, and now we see an option that says check systems. But we're not going to do that yet. What I have to actually do is I have to transfer the, the repair parts back into the ship, back um, into the repair panel. And I just used uh, Kurt again, the open transfer. So now I transferred from my Kerbal to the repair panel. So now I'm going to actually do the check systems. It's going to say, vessel prepped for repair, open the panel, then conduct repair. Well, I already opened the panel, so that's not a big deal. And now I'm going to go, the next line down says start repairs. I'm going to hit start repairs. Good job. And now the contract's done. It's done because obviously the landing part was had that little bug in it. So that's about it, guys. That's how you do it. That's how easy repair contracts are now in Mission Controller. If the land uh, your vessel on Kerbin thing wasn't bugged out, uh, I'd have to actually land him safely on Kerbal to actually finish the contract. But since it's uh, it's acting a little funky right now, it wasn't a big big deal. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to EVA. I'm going to grab this, uh, grab it. I'm going to put it back into my cast container store it close board and that's it okay guys thanks for watching yeah this is Malkuth 1974 thanks for playing mission controller hope you enjoy it Malkuth out